What's up guys, Baker here. Today I have a very exciting tutorial. I uh, don't really know what to call this besides uh, futuristic 3D text with trap code form. And um, this was suggested on my tutorial request video. And um, yeah, I have no internet right now so I can't show you the original video. But uh, this is pretty close to the example that they asked for and I know it's not perfect but it can give you the starting blocks you need and um, you can springboard off of that so pretty cool so we got some 3d text with depth of field reflection particles and a bunch of cool stuff so let's go ahead and jump right in we'll make a new comp we'll call this our main comp 720 by 1280 Sometimes if you do cool particle intros like this, you might want to render larger, like um, 1080p, and then shrink it down and it looks a lot more crisp and all that. So anyways, we'll hit OK, and we'll leave this for now. We're going to make another new comp and call this our text holder comp, and 1280 by 720 again, and just go ahead and type some text. So obviously, I'm going to type Baker. So just make a nice font, you know, Arial, perfect, awesome font right there. And um, and that looks good. Center it. Okay. So we have our text holder comp. Go ahead and pre-compose that by dragging it into this button. And then just rename this to our text holder comp colored. So try not to get confused by all these. We just have three comps. Our main comp. So let me close these out. Boom. Our main comp, text holder, and text holder comp colored. So this is where we're going to color it and make outlines and stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is search up a simple choker and just choke this at about 10. kind of depends on your font, but we're going to choke it like that. And then search up invert. Go ahead and apply that and invert the alpha channel. We got that. And then we need a mat, a set mat. Set mat, and then stretch map to fit, uncheck. So now we just have a nice outline of our text. And the reason I didn't do a stroke is because a stroke will extend the outside. This is just basically choking the inside part so it stays sharp and stuff. So that's good. Uh, duplicate that same layer, and on the bottom layer, go ahead and delete those effects and apply a fractal noise instead on the bottom layer. So we get a fractal noise behind and then the outline on top. So on the fractal noise, um, I can contrast this up a little bit more like 200 and then darken this. So, um, so we get something about that. Yeah, it looks okay. Uh, complexity, turn this down to maybe 2 so we get softer fractals. And the evolution, just alt click the stopwatch and in the expression box type time star 300. Sorry if I'm going fast, I'm just trying to save the time. So now we just get this kind of thing, and um, maybe not so fast. Time times 200, and um, that looks cool. So now we'll just make a new adjustment layer. And on this adjustment layer, we're going to add a tint effect. Tint. And we can choose the color that we want. And I'm going to use like a nice bright orange, kind of yellowish orange, so something in that area, and uh, we can always adjust it later. So that is it for now. We'll go to our main comp, drag in our text holder comp colored. So we got that guy again. Turn it off. Make a new solid. Call this form. So we're going to be using a third party plugin, chat code form. I won't tell you how to get it, but I can tell you where to buy it. And I'll link that in the description. So we'll apply that and we get some cool uh, sheets of particles. So our base form, we're going to make the size, the size of our composition. So 1280 and 720. Now we have three sheets in the Z uh, distance axis or whatever. So I want to bump this up to maybe 5 and then decrease the size to maybe uh, 25. So if you look, we can go to custom view real quick. That does nothing. Okay, that's because we need to make a new 
camera. I'm going to use about uh, 28 millimeters, okay. You can always change that later. Um, before we do anything else, let's go to form again. And let's go to layer maps. And the color in alpha is going to be ran by that text holder. And then so we're going to do RGB and A, so the alpha channel, so everything else gets cut off. Map over the X and Y. So it's kind of faint, but we do have our particles here. So if we go back to the base form, we can change the particles in X, bring that up, and we get more of those particles. And you can see that like that. So now we're getting some cool stuff going on. It's kind of dark, so let's brighten this with some curves. Apply that to the form layer. Let's kind of push it up a little bit. And the alpha channel, push that up a little bit too. So now we got some a little bit brighter particles. So that's good with the uh, you know, bright outline and everything. So that, that looks cool. Um, next thing um, for the camera, you want to make a null object to uh, control your camera. So make that 3D. Push P for camera and then P for the null. And make sure the position of the camera is the same as the null before you parent it. So we're going to make this 640, 360, 0. So now we're like inside the uh, text, and then now we can parent to the null object, and we can move around the null object and rotate it, and um, it'll be a lot easier. Another thing I want to do is go to form, and I want to rotate this down flat. So rotate it 90 on the x-axis, negative 90 in this case, and that looks cool. So I can again move my null. And maybe push R for rotation and just, you know, rotate so I can kind of see where I'm at. Just uh, playing with it. We can adjust it later, but that's okay for now. So we're looking at our text here, and um, we'll go back to form. Some things we can change. Um, let's see. We can give it a little bit of life by going to the fractal field and displacing it. But if you displace it too much, you lose the blockiness. So maybe one, oops, there we go. Maybe one, maybe two um, for that value. And then just give it maybe a little bit of flow. So it'll kind of wiggle a little bit. See that? So it's kind of like a fluid, it's like in a fluid, dust in a fluid, particles, something. And maybe not crank it too high, but maybe 100. That looks cool. So... Once you get your text the way you want it to look, and you can see we got the glowing from the fractal field and all that, um, just go ahead and duplicate it. And underneath, we're going to call this form reflection. Then we're going to go to the base form and just push this down in the Y space until it is underneath that. So don't make it perfectly touching. Leave a space so it looks like it's uh, kind of floating on some kind of mirror or something. And just lower the opacity of the reflection layer to maybe 25% or 30. So you want to make it pretty subtle. Um, it'll change once you get your color correction in. So we can always adjust that later. So we got that pretty nice stuff. Um, so we can turn on depth of field by pushing AA on the camera. We can turn that on. Aperture maybe about 25 pixels. And then just mess with the focus distance. So if I bring this up real close, you can see we are focused on these close particles. And then everything else is blurred behind. And it gives it a nice cinematic look as we you know, pan across or um, do some kind of cool camera movement. Um, another thing I did is a quick, simple color correction adjustment layer, call this CC, apply some glow, and instead of the original colors, I want to make my own colors, so AB colors, and I want a nice red glow, so red, and uh, a darker red, and just expand the radius so it gets a nice kind of warm glow, we can turn down the intensity a little bit, 0.5, so want it just enough so I get a nice kind of red warm um, stuff coming out so yeah and then it's a little too saturated so 
apply a tint and decrease this to 25% tint, so 75% color. And um, that looks nice. So again, just keyframe your null object for your camera movement, and uh, you, know, you can just see it panning across, or maybe we can get a little closer. That's some nice depth of field action going. Don't go too fast. You want to make this pretty subtle, maybe a, a close-up on the particles or something. But uh, yeah, what's cool about this, since everything's pre-composed, we can go to our text holder comp and just change this to something else, like text, and everything gets automatically updated. Now you can see the T, E, sliding over here to the X, and um, pretty cool cinematic. And you can add some uh, 3D flares, it'll be tracked automatically since we have a 3D camera, so you don't need to motion track or anything. A couple people have asked me that before. Um, that is about it. Let me know if you have any questions, um, any more requests, go ahead and post on my quest video. That'll be my place to keep track of everything. Um, be sure to like the video, favorite, comment, um, Facebook, Twitter, t-shirts, and that is about it. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. I think this looks pretty cool. Okay, so that's it. Go ahead and uh, do all that stuff. Okay, peace.